All right, so what I'm out here doing right now is I'm trying to get these wires ran for the alternator. It's a couple little things I got to do. Uh, got to put some ring terminals on these wires here. And that's not really hard to do. But I do got to... Let's see, where's my wire strippers? Oh, here we go, looking right at them. So, what I need to do, actually, I got a few ring terminals here. So, I'm going to do this the right way, and put this on here. And then get this squeezed on. Let's see. Y'all gotta excuse me sometimes cause sometimes being lefty is a little bit weird for me cause I do a lot of stuff right handed but then a bunch of stuff I do left handed too. So I gotta squeeze that on. Get that crimped on real nice. Make sure it don't come off. We need a good connection. So what I'm doing is I'm rewiring this alternator because the original alternator takes a different style plug and it's down here somewhere. I like to try to let you see what's actually happening. Uh, I know it's around here somewhere. Anyway, it's a different style plug and I had to cut it off and put different style connections on because This alternator is wired differently. So this is what you call a stator plug here. And the other uh, the other plug that was on here before I cut it off of here um, had it all built into the plug itself. Okay. So I had to cut them off and put these ring terminals on because that's the way this alternator is wired. So it don't really matter as long as the, 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 the cables get power, that's all that matters. So. That's what I'm doing is putting the correct ends on here so it can be used. So now those are on good, nice and tight. We pull these up like this. And that will protect it from anything else touching it because you know these are pretty high powered right here so you want to make sure they get covered and you don't want nothing from a ground source to to touch these to touch these wires so now those are on there and they go on this part of the alternator so there's three wires that I'm gonna put on here on this particular screw that I'm taking off right now. 
and that's these two. This is a really stiff connection. So that'll go on there like that. Both of these. Okay, so both of those will go on there. And there's still one more that I gotta do. I just wanna get these on there and keep them still for a second. Cause this alternator actually puts out more power than the original. The original alternator only put out 75 amps, which is not a lot when you're talking about today's uh, electronics and stuff, you know, putting music in your car and TVs and uh, wanting to run all those accessories at the same time, uh, you need an alternator that can keep up. And when this car was built in 91, you know, we wasn't doing all that. Okay, this is not wanting to act right. So let me get this on there real tight. Cause I still got one more I need to put on there. Okay, that's on there. So I'm not gonna tighten it down because I have to put another one on this big one. So I gotta cut the, the insulation from around it first. And as you can see, I zip tied it to the lines here. I wanna make sure that it, uh, that it runs along with the factory harness because this one is going to go here also and feed this alternator a lot more power and uh then the alternator won't the battery can stay charged when i'm running everything but as you can see i ran it from here up through here and it's zip tied to this one here and coming across and it's going to go to the regulator on this side so this is the relay that everything is gonna hook to. And it'll mount here. And this and a few of these will all go to this. And then the negative from the battery is gonna go to this also. Um, so this is what, this is the relay for the starter and everything and all of the power stuff. So right now I'm just getting it ready to be wired up. And uh, I've been working on this, all the, the the separate electronics and getting everything all ready for installation. So I gotta put this ring terminal on there also and put it on the back of the alternator. So they actually sell a kit with this already pre-wired and everything and um they charge like 54 dollars and and all that and but i know wiring and i'm always hooking up music and different things so this wire right here actually came from one of my music installations and i still had it laying around <laughs> 